only three ways that I or you or the public are able to control their dogs. If they've made, even if they've made an incorrect choice of breed, there are still three ways that we can help everyone to control their dogs. 所以如果我们做错了一些决定的话呢，还是有三种方法可以来控制我们的狗。不过也只有这三种方法。The first way is called management. So with my border collie that wants to chase cars, I keep it on the lead. With my Doberman that wants to bite people, I put a muzzle on it when it's around people. With my dog that keeps wanting to break out of my house and run in the neighborhood. I can erect a strong fence or put up a better door. They're, they're, if I've got a dog that pulls on the lead, I can put a head collar on it. 第一个呢，就是叫做管理。就比如说呢，像呃这个呃边境牧羊犬的话呢，我们可以呃要要要牵着它哦，就所以给它加上一个牵绳，让它不会到处乱跑。然后如果说呢是杜宾狗的话，我
要以这个呃我的狗，他认为我是他全世界最好的朋友，这样子一点来做出发点来训练狗。There's a third way that I can control the dog, and the third way is building a very strong emotional relationship with it. 还有第三种方法啊，第三种方法的话呢，就是要跟狗儿结。So before engaging in any behavior, the dog checks with me to see if, if that behavior is acceptable or unacceptable. That's called an emotional bond. And the people that you'll see with that type of bond with their dogs, people who have no eyesight and have a guide dog, people who have no use of their legs and have an assistance dog, they have a very close bond with their dogs. That is not obtained by using food. 也就是说，这个狗它在做任何行为之前，会先跟它的主人确定这个行为可不可以，先会会先获得许可。那这是什么狗呢？就像我们所知道的导盲犬，或者是说有肢体障碍，然后这个狗会协助啊肢体障碍朋友的。所以这种呃协助犬的话呢，它会有这样呃能够有这样的行为，而且这些行为不需要用食物来引导它产生。So I want you to visualize the military trainer. In Afghanistan, with their dog detecting landmines. If the dog makes one mistake, the dog is dead, and at best, you'll lose your legs. At the very best, if it makes one mistake. 好，所以我们想象一下呢，在嗯、呃、军方训练的狗啊，比如说如果是在阿富汗，然后军方训练这个狗是要去侦测地雷的。如果它呃做错了，就是狗如果呃在侦测地雷的时候自己出错了的话呢，可能它就会失去性命，或者至少它会少掉一条腿。Could you imagine how strong and close that bond is to get the dog to work and even give up its life for the handler? How strong the connection there is between the two? 那我们要能够训练狗去侦测地雷的话，你就可以想象它跟主人之间的情感的连接要有多强，因为它去侦测地雷的这个行为，甚至有可能让它丧失性命。If it's a British military trainer, where did he get his dog from that's detecting landmines? Where did it come from? Was it specially bred at a facility? No, he got it from a shelter. 如果是英国的军队哈训训练这样的呃侦测地雷的狗的话呢，狗是从哪里来的呢？这是特殊的一种品种特别去培育的吗？其实不是，这些狗呢，他们是从这个呃流浪狗之家啊啊这边找来的。Someone got that dog as a puppy from a breeder, and at ten months of age, discarded it because it was useless, worthless, and that's where our military picked them up from. The dog isn't worth it. The difference between the dog that's working to save human lives in the minefield and the dog that's discarded at a shelter, one word separates. That word is called training. 最有可能呢，本来是一只宠物犬，然后可能十个月大的时候，它的饲主就觉得说这狗没有用，它不想要它了，然后就把它丢在路上，所以最后进到了。流浪流浪狗之家，那军方呢？他啊从这边呃把这个狗带来，然后做训练。所以其实呢，你看到在这个流浪狗之家的狗啊，跟我们呃跟这个呃拿经过跟那种可以去搜救人力的搜救犬之间差别到底在哪里呢？只差在有没有训练而已。Next time, if you have the chance to come through Heathrow Airport in London, there's a very good chance that your luggage will be inspected by a sniffer dog. A detection dog looking for drugs or illegal products. All of those dogs they get from shelters that have been abandoned as being worthless. 那如果将来大家有机会到伦敦的话，在我们的国际机场，你的行李可能会被缉毒犬给闻过啊。那这些缉毒犬呢，其实也都是从流浪狗之家来的啊。那本来是人家觉得没有价值、不要的狗。The way it's been traditionally done. It would be a section of our police that look around the shelters to find dogs for this type of training. And remember, this dog has been discarded by its owner as being worthless. So our police go and find these dogs and then put them on the training course. The training course only lasts for about four months. 
我们呃在呃在这个呃警方呢这边，他们其实是有有一支部队，就专门会到流浪狗之家去找这些狗来训练，而且这些狗呢会进到呃流浪狗这边，其实是因为他们被人家认为是没有价值、没人要的狗。那这个训练大概只要四个月时间就够了。And after training this worthless dog, they sell it to our customs officers for one hundred and twenty thousand pounds. 好，所以训练四个月以后，本来就是没有人要的狗，大家觉得是没有价值的，他们再把它卖给海关来做缉毒哦。那这个呃，一只狗呢就可以卖呃十二十二万英镑。So it's not worthless after all. 大家本来以为是完全没有价值的，结果居然能够有这么高的价值。So I'm here to show you how you too can get a bond so strong with your dog that it get landmines save your life and be a benefit not just to you but to the community in which you live. But we can't achieve that if we continue the way that we have been training dogs in the UK, in the USA, in Taiwan. We need to change it. 我希望能够向大家说明，我们呃可以真的跟狗建立这么强的一个情感连接，所以甚至他会在侦测地雷的时候愿意去呃牺牲他自己的性命来救你。那他可以对你还有对你所居住的社区有很大的帮助。那但是我们真的要做到这一点的话，不能够再延续原有的训练方法，我们一定要去改变现在的训练狗的方法。We need to get back to some of the things that our grandparents and great grandparents and ancestors did to encourage dogs to come and live with us in the first place, which we don't do anymore. We've forgotten our history on connection with dogs. 我们应该要追溯过去人类跟狗的历史，就像我们祖先一样，我们要去鼓励呢，呃，犬类跟人之间的连结。但是这个连结，我们已经好长一段时间都不再去注意了。The old way of training dogs was by using a lot of force, making the dog do what you want. But in that system, and I'm not saying that we should ever go back to that system, but in that system. There was a very strong emotional bond between dog and owner. Because when I said in class, tell the dog he's a good dog, people get on their hands and knees and stroke the dog and tell him how great he was. 在旧的方法哈，那种训练方式呢，会强迫狗，然后要它去做我们希望它做的事情。但是呃，这种方法里面呢，其实。嗯、呃，其实这个主人跟狗之间还是有很强的一个情感连接的。因为我在上课的时候，如果告诉大家说，哎，你们要好好的呃摸摸你的狗，然后告诉他说他是一只最棒的狗，那大家都可以做得到。And then everywhere in the world, we decided correctly that perhaps is not the best way to train a dog. Just again, imagine you're in a minefield in Afghanistan with a dog that you've trained and you've trained it by force. And the dog is frightened of you and doesn't like you. 但是我们也都知道呢，如果用强迫的方式，不能够训练出最好的狗。就比如说，我们呃要训练一只狗，然后到阿富汗能够去侦测地雷的话，如果你的训练过程是用强迫的方式，这个狗不喜欢你，它不会跟你建立连接。And this morning, the dog gets up and realizes it's another day long and have to be forced to work, and he's had enough. So he goes into the minefield and goes. 也许某一天早上狗儿醒来会觉得说，每天我都要被强迫去做这些工作。然后哪一天他觉得说我再也受不了了，所以他去找地雷的时候，他就故意踏到地雷上，然后就这样算。